Hey, I'm Chris Epp from Make Everything. I'm coming to you from my shop here in New York. And, uh, you know, as, as you know, New York and the world um, have been really dramatically affected by the COVID-19 and coronavirus pandemic. And I wanted to make this video to share a little bit of information about how the maker community and how you can help with the PPE shortage that our first responders and medical professionals are facing. There's been an amazing outpouring of support from the maker community, people really stepping up and doing a lot, donating masks and other stuff out of our personal shops uh, to give to hospitals and local clinics wherever we can. And uh, if you have PPE or anything that you can donate, there's a website, findthemasks.com. You can type in your zip code and it'll tell you a local place, what they're looking for, whether or not they're taking open box uh, or only sealed protective equipment and exact instructions on what to do. So if you have anything, please look into that. So many of us in the maker community have looked to 3D printing and used the skills that we have uh, in order to help. You know, we spend our lives honing skills and learning crafts and there are things that we feel are important to make in our careers, right? There is nothing more important than using our skills right now as a collective community to help with this global effort. I have so many friends in the community that have really stepped up um, and I wanna just take a minute to talk about a few of them. Uh, my friends, Michael and Brooke at the Makers Workshop in Massachusetts have been frantically all over the market, all over uh, social media, sharing the news on what they're doing. They're 3D printing these face shield bands. They've got the PETG, the clear plastic shields, and they're sending the clear plastic shields to anybody that wants to also help and make more. Um, I have friends in Queens, New York, the Print of World guys who are doing an amazing effort bringing things in and making masks. Uh, Saunders Machine Works is doing stuff. There are so many, so many people on Instagram and Facebook and YouTube that are you know, doing what they can to help and I think that it's so important. So if you wanna get involved with the 3D printing side of this, uh, I'm gonna put some links down in the description below. There were a couple of different files that flew around. Some of them were for masks. Um, some of them were for these face shields. Um, I've kind of focused on printing the face shields and I only have one 3D printer, so it's not like I can make a ton of these, but just in the last day, I've made enough where, you know, once I start putting these together and I'm gonna run my printer 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and every little bit is gonna help. My girlfriend, works at a hospital in New York City, and I get to see and hear about the gear shortages that they have firsthand. Um, I see that she's gotta reuse her mask, she's gotta reuse her face shield, and it's a real problem. We need to do anything that we can to help. This is the most important thing any of us will make probably in our lifetimes, so it is important to do what we can whenever we can to help. So if you don't have the physical resources to actually make something that can help and you don't have the money because I know right now is an incredibly hard financial time for so many families and so many individuals around the world, social media is an incredibly powerful tool and it's nearly free. And I think that now is an important time and I'm calling on all influencers, big and small. It doesn't matter if you reach a million people or 25 people, if you reach your just your cousins and your neighbors, now is a time when you have information that could be helpful is to share it. You know, share these powerful and beautiful images of people helping out and coming together. Share awareness about local businesses that are doing things just to try to stay alive. You know, there are so many restaurants that are figuring out ways to deliver food just so they can keep their bills paid. And it's so important that all of us try and support these businesses and try and support these people during this time. Like I said, it doesn't matter your reach. Social media allows you to reach people in a way that we've never had as a global civilization before and we really need to utilize it now for the greater good. So that's it, be safe, be responsible, be helpful and don't forget to be thankful for all the people that are out there putting themselves in harm's way every day. The first responders, the medical professionals, the doctors, nurses, PAs, technicians, everybody that works in a hospital, the janitor staff, everyone is putting themselves at risk and not only them, you've got the grocery store workers who are still out there, the delivery drivers, the utility workers and DPW people, you know, all these essential workers that still have to get up, go to work every day, despite the growing concerns about being exposed to this horrible virus. And thank you to all of these people. Thank you guys so much for your great sacrifice in this amazing 
time of need. And also thank you to the employees and the manufacturing companies that are still open, are still developing and producing the things that we all need most right now, which are the PPE, the testing supplies, and the ventilators, all these other things that you've heard about on the news. If you have any questions about any of the 3D print files that I mentioned, or any of the people that are doing this kind of work, maybe you can find someone in your local area that you can help out with this effort of building PPE in these small shops. There's gonna be a ton of information in the description of this video. I've come up with some resources where I've ordered some supplies to make these masks in my shop, and I'm gonna put links to those in the description as well. Um, there's been a lot of horrible price gouging in the market on materials like this, and I've spent a lot of time trying to find reasonably priced sources for the plastic face shields and the elastic banding for the back. The same thing goes for 3D printing filament and stuff like that. So if I can be a resource, I want to share that information with everyone. Um, this maker community is amazing. I've seen amazing things happen here and I know that you know we're a small percentage of the world, but I know we can all come together and we can all use the skills and the knowledge that we have to help on this global scale. So thank you guys for watching. I hope everyone is safe and I hope everyone is well, and I will see you all soon.